You've heard of obsessive compulsive disorder. It's likely from a movie or a TV version making light of that situation. But it is not funny if you're the patient. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us about a young woman who went to extreme lengths to get better. Doc. That's right, Maurice and Christine. You know, people with OCD feel the need to check things repeatedly or perform rituals or routines over and over. It's a real psychiatric disorder. These folks really can't control their thoughts or behavior. Medications or talk therapy can help, but for some, the only option is more drastic. Sarah Gordon is taking a drastic step to get relief from her severe obsessive compulsive disorder. The 25 year old is having brain surgery. Sarah's OCD surfaced before high school and soon took over her life. I would wash my hands every two or so minutes, and each hand wash was about three minutes. Um, I would take between three and four hour showers. Sarah tried all available treatments, including medication, but nothing worked. About to start graduate school at Harvard, Sarah decided deep brain stimulation was her best option. I felt like it was either going to get significantly worse to the fact that I wouldn't be able to have friends or have a family or have a job or go to school. During surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital, doctors implanted electrodes into Sarah's brain that are controlled remotely. It interrupts some of the circuitry that causes this vicious cycle of repetitive thoughts and behaviors. Deep brain stimulation has been successful in treating diseases such as Parkinson's, and doctors say early indications are about half of OCD patients see a significant improvement. Nearly a year after surgery, Sarah says her OCD symptoms are more under control. For the most part, um, I think that I've definitely seen improvements. I definitely feel better. She just received her master's in education from Harvard. Now everyone double checks things sometimes, make sure the stove is turned off or the door is locked when you leave home. But when those behaviors get in the way of life, daily life, that's when you should probably seek help. Deep brain stimulation is a last resort, of course, but it's also being studied for epilepsy and depression. So for her, it really has made a difference. She was tortured. Absolutely. And just can't help it. It really is a, a, comp a compulsion. You just can't do anything about it. You bet. But there's hope. Yep. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Dr. Max. Well,